My name is Kagan Weeks. I uh, formed Hive at Your Home. Today we're at the Wilton Community Garden. We're checking out a place in which uh, I placed an adopted hive. I showed up to check in on a hive, which I just placed four days ago. Today's goal was to check in on the queen which had been put with this hive. The queen is a, a Russian queen, and because I'm used, trying to use local genetics, Sometimes there's not enough bees available, so the package itself was Italians, and in order to give the queen and the bees time to meet each other, she was in a cage. So today's whole goal was to remove that cork so that in the next couple days they can eat through the candy to let her out. Process involved showing up, suiting up, because um, it's fun, checking out the hive, seeing what's going on from the outside, then and lighting a smoker, giving them just a brief amount of smoke. They, they're not, bees are not very aggressive. A smaller hive that doesn't have brood with baby bees to protect isn't going to be very aggressive, but I always just have the smoker lit because if you get headbutted a few times, you can smoke yourself or the bee that's aggressive and that diffuses the situation. And then opening up the hive, going into the hive, removing a top bar in which natural comb was built on it, looking at the bees, evaluating their situation, how they're doing, they're doing well. Brushing the bees off so I can see in the cage to see that the queen is fine. She looked really good, active, in good shape. Like I said, she needed more time to uh, adjust to these bees and now I need them to be able to let her out so she can join the colony and start laying eggs. She's vital, you can't have baby bees without her. And then, then quickly getting out of there to leave them be bees. I uh, was a hobby beekeeper for just myself, and I had ambitions to grow as a beekeeper, but I, uh, along, along those lines, the more I learned about bees, the more I realized I didn't want to use my engineering background to tell the bees what to do. I wanted bees to be bees, and I wanted to share that with people. So I started Hive at Your Home, so that I bring bees to people's home, they get the pollination and the honey, and I can teach them to be a beekeeper if they want, or I just continue to maintain that hive for them. And they don't, because not everyone has to be a beekeeper. Along the lines of not everyone having to have to be a beekeeper, I decided I wanted to be a bee giver. And so that plenty of people could just be bee havers. There's nothing wrong with that. I